Hey guys, Chip in Action back with another video. Today we'll be taking apart this microwave that the neighbors were just about to throw away. Well, I don't think this will be seen in the DVR ever again. And now, let's have a little bit of light. Let there be light. That was scary. <laughs> Oh. And now, now we're going to stop playing with it and start using it. We can start by taking out this glass plate and, this, and the spanner. Now I can begin to remove the screws. If you have a screw that your bits will not fit on. For instance, there's this special hex head screw right here. You can just use a pliers or even a vice grip to grab it. And it'll come right out. Now I can remove the outer coating to reveal the inside. And the inside hole is what we really want. I'll put this to the side. And now we can get started on these electronics. And this transformer is what we really want. <clears throat> I just unscrewed this contact port. And now I can pull out these. These connections right here. And I can now remove the power cord. And we can use this for later. Now I can remove this blower fan to cool off the motor. We can definitely use this. Got a nice copper coiling, nice fan. This will definitely be useful. This capacitor right here is very dangerous. It's very large and it could ease it could deliver um, a fatal shock. So I'm being very careful. I'm wearing gloves and these are the pliers to take this apart. Now being very careful, you can defuse it just like that. Now I still won't touch it, but now it should be safer. I'm not sure what all these connections go to, but I will remove, I will disconnect them all anyway. And don't get rid of this guy because he's containing two very powerful magnets. Now the only problem is getting in. But I do have a vice grip to help out. Here's one. Here's a brass washer. A small steel plate. And here is the magnet. That's good. But there's another one down beneath. We'll take that out. And now we can cut these cords. And we can now remove this last magnet. And there's the second magnet. This transformer is held up by some screws, which I'm pretty sure attached from the bottom. So I'm going to flip this whole thing over. Now this is what we want. This is really good, good stuff right here. This is the turntable table that goes in the bottom of the microwave. I'll be using this. There are some switches down here that prevent the microwave from turning on before the door is shut. And I can use these also. I just popped the control panel off and there's a whole slew of good parts in here. All this stuff that I got with the microwave, 
I got for free, and it would have cost me a lot more to buy it all brand new. Just like, look at all these electronics. But my personal favorite is this transformer. That's what I really want the microwave for. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe.